In this tutorial, I cover the ripple and wave modifiers in 3ds Max. So let's go ahead and start by creating a plane and go to our modifier list here. And then from the modifier list, we'll choose ripple. And ripple will just basically add a ripple with two different amplitudes and a wavelength to the geometry. So if I increase the um, amplitude, you could see it's as if a rock was like dropped in the middle of the geometry and then it ripples outward. So you have two different amplitudes and then also the wavelength, which is the distance from peak to peak. So if I increase that, it'll be a larger ripple. If I decrease it, you'll see more ripples. Um, and so that's really handy. And again, like all of these modifiers, you can go in and you can reorient the gizmo, rotate it to get some really interesting effects. You can even scale these gizmos. So if I want to scale it in the Z, for example, you can use your scale tool. Um, and again, you can always go back to your plane, increase the number of segments if you want it to be a higher resolution um, in the effect on the geometry. The next one we'll look at, I'll just go ahead and delete that, is the wave. So if I just type in a wave here, you can see it's down here near the bottom. And wave is like ripple, but it only happen, happens in one direction. So you have two amplitudes still. You can see you can almost make like a shell structure here using just the wave modifier. And then you have a wavelength, which is again the distance from crest to crest here. So if I increase that, there'll be a bigger distance. If I decrease it, there'll be a shorter distance between them.